The Lithium Series 2 tool is easily configured for conventional torque. Slide the reaction arm over the drive, aligning the set screw with the flat on the spline. Tighten the set screw and challenge the reaction arm to make sure it's secured. Never modify a reaction arm, as this may lead to serious injury or damage to the tool. To install a driver socket, insert the pin partway so it's held in place by the O-ring. Slide the socket onto the drive while aligning the pin hole with the hole in the square drive. Push the pin until flush against the socket and secure it with the O-ring. Power on the tool and select the fastener type. For conventional torque applications, select right hand or left hand. Set the desired values for torque, angle, and release. If desired, set the speed switch to run down to quickly run down the nut. Secure the back nut to prevent it from turning. Place the socket over the nut so it's fully engaged. Make sure the reaction arm is firmly braced against a secure anchor point. Pull and hold the trigger. A message is displayed instructing the user to press any button to start. This is to ensure the operator keeps both hands clear of the reaction arm. Once the operator pushes a button on the control panel, the drive will turn. Pull and hold the trigger to turn the nut until the driver stops at the specified torque. Continue holding the trigger. If angle or release have been specified, the tool will pause briefly between each operation. Release trigger after the tool signals successful completion of all operations. If no release angle has been set, the tool may lock onto the nut. Set the tool to loosen to free it. To loosen a nut, set the directional switch to loosen. Adjust the tool to desired breakout torque using the left and right buttons. Place the socket over the nut so it's fully engaged. Pull and hold the trigger until the nut is loosened. 